channel. This is a part two of the solar omega street light, all in one solar street light. Yeah, uh, as you can see, we have installed one unit uh, of this all in one street light uh, in a temporary pole. Yeah, uh, why this temporary pole is basically is very useful. Let's say if you have a function or you need to do work in you know certain area, but you need a uh, street light to or area lighting. Uh, to cover a large uh, space uh, but of course let's say you don't have power source or you have a concern on the wiring uh, this temporary uh, street light will be useful yeah as long as there is a sunlight uh, you can install this and this will light up the area and let's say you don't need it uh, you can move it around yeah so this is yeah uh, as you can see right now, uh, this unit is actually on a dim mode, yeah? like I mentioned in part 1, when it's in dim mode, uh, where no people detected, uh, it will uh, punch up roughly about 400 lumen. Yeah? For 400 lumen, uh, you can see um, it still can you know, light up quite uh, nicely and you know, some distance, some area. Yeah? Okay, uh, in below there, I have put a lumen meter. Uh, lux meter and let's see uh, how bright is the lux meter yeah oops I think I have activated uh, the uh, full power mode uh, uh, okay let's see uh, what is the full power mode load and how many lux yeah uh, roughly about 80 lux and you can see from the lux meter in, in part 1 I mentioned uh, the full power mode uh, basically, this street light is punched up uh, about uh, 2,000 lumen, yeah? For, uh, on a 4 meter pole, this is actually a 4 meter pole, okay? Uh, it can punch up to 2,000 lumen and when it hit the ground, uh, we still have uh, 80 lux, yeah? So, it's then bright for, let's say you want to have a function or you want to, you know, uh, doing your job and things like that, uh, this is, should not be a problem, yeah? And let me show you how wide the area that this light can cover, okay? If you can see, let's say from left to right, uh, it's roughly about 10 meter, uh, yeah? It's about, left to right is roughly about 10 meter. Uh, from the front, it's roughly about 7 meter, yeah? I have put a measurement tab there, so that one is roughly about 7 meter. So uh, I would say that in f to cover a distance of uh, or area of uh, 10 meter by 7 uh, is not a problem, yeah? 10 meter by 7 is not a problem. Let's say pole to pole, uh, for 10 meter, pole to pole, uh, should not be a problem, yeah? Now you can see the light has uh, go back to a dim mode, yeah? Let's say it's very far away, uh, it will go back to the uh, dim mode, yeah? Even in the dim mode, like I mentioned just now, um, it's actually it's bright enough. Uh, you know, as a street light, yeah. You don't even sometimes you don't even need to have the full power mode uh, because sometimes it's uh, too bright. It hurt the eyes, yeah. But of course, uh, in these days, security is bad. Uh, no one will complain if the light is you know uh, too bright, yeah. Okay, oops, actually I want to show you uh, what is a lock in the dim mode but seems like every time I close by, uh, it will detect uh, a motion and then he will go to the uh, full mode and I think I just need to uh, quiet down or maybe uh, uh, not to move and stand still and see whether uh, this guy can, you know, uh, get back to uh, dim mode, yeah? So I'm probably just gonna be very, very quiet and, you know, uh, just wait it to go dim. Uh, it will full blast roughly about uh, 30 seconds. After 30 seconds, uh, it will, uh, you know, uh, to dim down, yeah? So you can see uh, easily about uh, 80 lumen, uh, no problem. Yeah, so we just need to wait for a while, uh, let it to, uh, to be dimmed down. Uh, I believe even I'm talking right now, it will not, uh, you know, affect. Okay, now it's dimmed down. As you can see, now it's a dim mode, uh, 400 lumen from a 4 meter pole. 
Uh, you still get roughly about 18 lakhs, yeah? Not so bad. Uh, you know, 18 lakhs, um, yeah? Not so bad, alright? Oops, that's not a move. Straight away detected me and uh, we'll go to uh, you know, full power mode again, alright? Um, this is the part 2 uh, on the solar uh, Omega street light, an uh, all-in-one street light. Uh, is uh, like I say, in the part one, it's very bright, uh, very affordable, and very easy to install. And you know, powered by fusion battery, uh, designed for a life, uh, you know, five years uh, battery life. Okay, and you know, it can be used almost like a wirelessly in, in any application that you can think of. Yeah. Um, thanks for watching our YouTube channel and please catch us on the part 3